Hello, I'm Jenny. I'm a collaboration coach. I work with mostly tech teams to help them collaborate better throughout their product delivery or agile delivery life cycles. And I also work with them to help them uh, reach their potential and flourish. I'm a founding member of the Digital Leadership Network and I'm going to talk to you today about how to unleash kindness and foster flourishing in your organisation. Um, I guess I'm really uh, passionate about compassion uh, and really believe that if we seek to understand ourselves and each other better, rather than trying to be understood, uh, then, then the world will be a better place. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about what we mean by kindness in leadership. Uh, why is it good to have a kindness culture? And what can you do to foster kindness in your organisation? So kindness gets kind of a mixed review. Um, it's been stigmatised, really, um, over the years, particularly when you think about the sort of male breadwinner uh, perhaps perceptions of diminished power and concern about, you know, not being promoted unless you're tough and, you know, um, ruthless and all of those sorts of things. And it's also been really feminized. So, you know, we talk about soft skills and we think about women being soft and gentle. Um, and I can certainly relate to this. So, you know, in, in my early leadership career uh, leading tech teams um, I was leading really uh, productive happy teams but I was often looked upon uh, sort of su suspiciously almost as if I was sort of wielding about this uh, secret lady witchcraft um, that made my team kind of perform but without this sort of power um, thing going on. But kindness isn't soft or gullible. Uh, being kind is about being fair, uh, consistent and trustworthy. And so being a kind leader isn't being a soft leader. Uh, we have to think about beyond nice. OK, so kindness isn't just niceness. Kindness can be hard. Um, sometimes you're doing the difficult thing, not the easy thing. You know, you're standing firmly. For, for moral ground, you know, you're support, supporting the voice of the person that isn't heard. Or sometimes you're giving really challenging feedback to somebody or having a difficult conversation because you know it's the right thing to do. So kindness isn't nice. It's a, it's a multifaceted thing. So when we talk about kindness, you know, we're talking about pro-social behavior, kind of a subset of that. Uh, it's not just about being polite, or being even altruistic, like giving to charity, right at the core of kindness is empathy and compassion and, you know, not judging other people. Um, kindness is good for business. Um, so we know as organisations that well-being is good for performance. Uh, we've been learning over the years about the importance of psychological safety um, and kindness uh, really addresses really typical workplace stresses that can affect our psychological well-being. So there's a direct link between expressions of kindness and our innate need for social belonging. So practices of kindness fulfill really basic human needs and there's mounting evidence that shows compassionate leaders are more effective. So a kind boss is creating an environment where uh, their employees can flourish and reach their potential. Um, there was a study in 2013 that showed that um, effective leaders were more likable. So 50,000 leaders uh, took part in a 360 feedback survey. And the astonishing result is that there was such a strong link between likability and effective leadership to the extent that less than one in 2,000 of those in the study were evaluated as being effective and not likeable, which is quite startling. Um, it's also good for us, kindness is good for us. So kind people ling live longer, um, have less wrinkles. Um, kindness produces this uh, 
a chemical called oxytocin, which is good for our hearts, good for our blood pressure, is actually the state of kindness is the opposite physiologically of stress. So kindness is good for us. Um, so what, what can we do? What can we do to um, be kinder? What can we do? So the first thing is understand each other and ourselves better. So, you know, build empathy, discover strengths, um, think about communication practices like nonviolent communication. Listen, listening is so important. Uh, play kindness forward. So look out for kindness, look out for everyday acts of kindness, celebrate it. Um, being kind makes us happy and receiving acts of kindness makes us happy too. Kindness is contagious. It has this wonderful ripple effect um, that spreads around us. What can you do as a leader? So be more deliberate. Think about how you can be kinder, be more understanding, more patient. How can you reward behaviors, not just results? And if you practice being kind, your brain will get better at it with its neuroplasticity. So your kindness muscle will grow. And right now, our human qualities are more important than ever. Um, you know, in the age of AI, being human is so, so important. Um, so go be kind. Um, go be kind in your organisations. If you want to discuss this topic or connect with me uh, through the Digital uh, Leadership Network, please do that. We're an active community. We're always uh, welcoming new members and we really want to support um, the modern leader. Uh, so, so come and join us. Thank you.